don't think Gru ever thought he would be speaking to a child, let alone uh, reading bedtime stories or going to dance recitals. Pinky promise? <sighs> oh, yes. My pinky promises. <gasps> He thinks it's gonna be easy and they're just gonna stay in their room and be quiet and not bother him. It turns out to be a whole other thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what he wanted, it's not what he um, ever imagined his life would be. Uh, it's just funny seeing these three little girls that are so innocent and cute, kind of bossing around this villain that's trying to take over the world. Actually, we're going to have to skip the dance class today. Actually, we can't skip the dance class today. They're probably the only people in the entire world that can tell Gru what to do. But even the toughest guy can have that side brought out in him, particularly by these three amazing little girls. He's so fussy, I'm gonna die! They really are great for each other. They bring out the best in each other. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. And then the scene in which Gru realizes, I've kind of fallen in love with these girls. He has to shut the book quickly and, and get out of there because it's too much for him. He learns that there is more to life than just being despicable.